Yeah. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I look around at how our world has changed all around us in so many ways. And you write about this, you know, um, um, leading in the age of deep, deep expertise. You know, everything has changed. There's so much to, to learn and to know. You can't be a know-it-all. You have to be a learn-it-all. The, the, the things you talk about, Wanda. Yeah. Um, so the nature of the world has changed. The nature of the workforce is changing. More, mm. more uh, diversity than ever before. Uh, more generations at work. Um, the nature of the workplace has changed. Mm. Work at home, work from anywhere, remote work, hybrid work, intentionally f- flexible work. The nature of technology and and you know has changed with disrupt- disruption and the pace of change, the amount of change. And then finally, the, the, the nature of choice itself has changed. Mm-hmm. So many options and choices that people have. And so while the world has changed all around us, our style of leadership has not, <laughs> or at least has not kept pace with this changing world. We're still too much operating out of the core base approach that I call command and control. It's a relic of the industrial age. And here we are in the knowledge age or the age of collaboration. And yet our base operation of how we, our style of how we lead tends to still be kind of a relic of the past. It's just that we become better at it, (laughs) more sophisticated, more advanced. I call it enlightened command and control, a kinder, gentler, better, new, improved version of command and control. But that's not going to be sufficient and relevant for this new world of work because people don't want to be managed. People want to be led. They want to be trusted. They want to be inspired, as you said at the outset. And to operate with the old style of leadership in this new world of work that is the equivalent of playing tennis with a golf club. <laughs> and you think about it, you know, the tool you're using, the style of leadership you're employing is not relevant for the game being played. And so I see this, you know, this changing world, and yet we're still leading in the old way, just a more sophisticated, advanced version of the old way. We haven't shifted our paradigm in how we lead. And I think we need to do that if, if we're going to really tap into the enormous potential and creativity and talent and greatness that is inside of our people. We're leaving too much of it on the table still. And in this new world, it's, there's a greater premium than ever before to try to win in the workplace and win in the marketplace. And you can't do that without trust as a, faith, as a foundation. So that's the idea. That's, why, that's the why behind this new work.